as you guys know, I'm a BDSM uh, participant, I guess. I'm a lifestyler. I love BDSM. It's so great and lovely and wonderful. And oh my gosh, I feel like my hair is clinging to my face here. Um, I really, 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 really appreciate kink representation, even though I think everyone is kind of in this video going to be probably Gen Z and pretty young. And so they're going to have a different relationship with it than when I came into it. But that's the thing. Every generation has a different relationship with kink and BDSM. Remember that BDSM is not abuse and abuse is not BDSM. Okay? You cannot, you can consent to being abused. Okay? I don't recommend it. You can consent to being in a toxic relationship. I don't recommend it. But that is not what BDSM is. BDSM is a lifestyle that can be either toxic or healthy. If you have a healthy relationship with BDSM, great. It is not abuse. But abuse in and of itself is something I think adults can consent to. I don't recommend doing it. You can choose to be in an unhealthy relationship. That happens to be vanilla or BDSM. But BDSM within itself is not abuse. It's just a lifestyle. Okay? It's just a lifestyle. Let's check it out. <clears throat> What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? How's the I'm volume, guys? I'm very into the kinky. This sounds really loud. So okay. Tying people up, clamps, peeing on people. She looks like it. Would you ever be into someone peeing on you? Welcome. Have had I've had that happen. Yes, I have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Golden showers. Yep, yep, yep. Here's the thing. If you have a healthy relationship with uh, certain kinds of scenes, it can be great. If you don't, it can be very harmful. BDSM can go wrong, much like skydiving. Welcome to the button, a speed the button. dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This is the button. Hi. The button. My name's Gabriel. I'm Lonnie. Hi. Good to meet you. Lonnie. Fun I like that name. Sometimes he farts during sex. Okay, that was that's that's the gross misrepresentation. <laughs> you fart during sex. Not regularly. The time that I lost my virginity, uh -huh. I was very, I was terribly nervous. Okay. And I just farted out of nervousness. And, okay. You know, Fair. She laughed at me. How did that even end? It was yeah. It was just very much over at that point. I mean, oh. there's really no coming back from that. Oh. No big deal. It happens sometimes. Take a deep breath. No big deal. No, I feel like we can come back from this. I feel like not a big deal. Actually, I remember watching a, uh, not watching, I was reading a, a Cosmopolitan magazine insert. I used to read Cosmopolitan all the time. Cosmo and Vogue and all. I was obsessed at one point, okay? Which is why it was funny I bought a Vogue magazine because I hadn't bought one in years. But I was uh, reading a little, you know, section about things that happened in bed and the guy said, oh yeah, I was going to go down on her and then she farted and I just like, I had to break up with her. And I remember when I was really, really young, like 19, 20, 21, thinking like, yeah, ew, gross. Like, I'd have to break up with them. And now that I'm 34, I'm like, man, kids are so dumb and shallow. Like, people are so shallow and funny. Like, as if people don't have bodily mistakes happen on occasion. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, no big – you can come back from that. No big deal. I thought he was doing it on purpose, which, again, no kink shaming, but, like, not my thing. Not my thing. What are you two looking for in a relationship right now? I mean, I, I was like monogamous for a long time and mm. now I'm not. I'm just mm. kind of enjoying being single and dating around, to be honest with you. What about you? See, there's like different ways that people experience being single, right? If you're really looking for a long-term relationship, maybe you're going to be more cynical about it. But he's just like, I'm just being single and enjoying it. That's a very real relationship to have with your singleness. You know what I mean? You're single, single dumb. Um, yeah, yeah, says I puked and peed at the same time <gasps> when I was, while I was pregnant in the middle of good times. Oh, you know what? No hate. One time I ate a cookie really, really fast. Like really, I was eating a cookie. Okay. And my partner, one of my partners, uh, grabbed me by the head and, um, had me, you know, and I all over his stomach and I was like, <gasps> And I like very quickly cleaned it up. And that is the one time I've puked during sexy t time. But in my defense, I just eaten a cookie. Okay. In my defense. Okay. My gag reflex was not having it. Okay. In my defense. Um, I, I'm going to answer, but I, I, I can't do the dating around. I see. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, my God. <laughs> I They're so cute. Pretty hot headed. Okay. Um, Oh my god, I love her style. They're both so cute. They both have really cute style to me. I actually both like their fashion style. Um, 
I can get really hot headed. Ooh, that's hard. When I'm mad, I don't want to talk. I feel like that's more mature mm. than trying to. No, shutting down and being a bitch is not more mature. But saying, hey, baby, I need some time. Is it okay we don't talk for 30 minutes so I can collect myself is healthy. Shutting down is not okay. It's usually not a good sign. It means your emotions have completely suffocated you. And that's okay because sometimes I want to shut down, but I'll tell my partner, I need 20 minutes, baby. I love you so much. This isn't you. Okay? But shutting down and ignoring your partner is not okay. Like be heated in the yeah. moment. For me. No, no, no. CJ says, here I was trying to figure out what ate the cookie meant. No, no, no. I did eat a real cookie. But then I ate another kind of cookie. <laughs> I guess a sausage. And then, and then I puked. But I did eat a real cookie in my defense. Probably that I make everything into a joke. Like I stand <sighs> Ooh, up. Ooh, hey, that's a great self-aware moment. A lot of people who make everything into a joke aren't self-aware of how that is avoiding conflict and therefore a cope. What's your best joke right now? Right. Oh. I have a joke about uh, how collecting lovers is like collecting rocks. Like, you can never have too many. If you bring a certain number back through your apartment, like, your leasing agent gonna start looking at you kind of funny, like, damn, this bitch got a lot of rocks. <laughs> <It's> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask why? You're Discord says a cocky, if you will. Very good. Very, very good, Discord. Very good, Discord. Um, he made you dribble. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, the damn, that damn cookie, let me tell you. Yeah, yes, uh, my partner was really nice about it, though. We just had gotten to the shower and he washed me off. Was probably one of the sweetest things he's done during our relationship. The rest was a mess. Oh, that's sweet. See, that's sweet. That's sweet. That's sweet. That is sweet. Pretty now, my type. What's your type? Bigger women. No hard feelings. <laughs> I got a plywood board body. Nice to meet you. I'm Leilani. Leilani, I'm Sid. What kind of music are you into? Oh, Everything Leilani. except for Screamo. I'm more of like into like dark wave, kind of like. What's dark wave? Yeah, so what's it's dark like wave? Sexy dungeon, like club music. Wait, Discord wants my view. Publish everyone's nudes at 16 so every people see it's no big deal. Hmm. Yeah, no. Absolutely not. Zero. Zilch. I know 16 is an arbitrary number for, like, age of consent, but I feel like 16 is so young and gross. Like, I don't want to see a 16-year-old naked, okay? You feel me? Like, it just feels gross. I found out Romania – no, not Romania. Buc where's – where one of the places Andrew Tate was where he found his first girlfriend at 15. She was 15 and he was, like, 21. And I'm like, ew. Am I the only one who's not attracted to children? Is the world just attracted to children? Is the world just so fucked up? You don't – Fuck AI blaming, like, ruining loneliness. How about y'all fix your fucking brains? 16 is literally so young. Have you seen a 16-year-old? They're disgusting. They're like children. Okay. <laughs> How do you two handle pain? Oh. Piercings and tattoos don't hurt for me. I have my nipples. My nipples didn't even Let's go. hurt. It hurt after. It hurt after, after, yeah. Mm. I just recently got one of my nipple rings ripped out, and that hurt. Oh. <laughs> so you have no nipple? No, I have a nipple. It oh, just okay. like kind of has like a little split in the center of it. Oh. I just got caught on the door, and it just ripped it right oh. out. Oh my god. Okay, I was so into getting nipple piercings at one point, and then I realized like, oh, not only are they hard to like heal and deal with. But literally, I would definitely get them hooked in a door. I would 100% get them ripped out on accident. Oh. Anyway. Oh. Are you two vibing with each other? I oh. am, but I don't think it's going any further. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Leilani. Tattoo says queen, huh? I am a queen. <sighs> I'm also divorced. Interesting. Oh. Yes. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? Probably be like tied up with rope or like handcuffs. I'm very into the king community, so. Okay. Tying people up, clamps, peeing on people. Okay. Elizabeth, would you ever be into someone peeing on you? It's a big commitment. 
Definitely not. <laughs> it was a special occasion. I really like this tattoo you have. Can you tell me about that? Is it? Oh, I didn't realize it went red. Why'd you press the button? I think you're just. Oh. Why'd you press the button? She kind of has a little girl thing, huh? Is she a bottom? Is she like feeling this girl's mommy energy or something? It's a little too shy for me. You'd be surprised once you get to know me. You shouldn't have said no to pee. Yeah. You should have said no to pee. You'd be very surprised. Okay, okay. I'm really into baking. Oh. Um, which is She was so sweet. <laughs> Sometimes you just need the right top to bring out the right bottom. You know what I'm saying? Hilarious because I don't actually like sweets that much. No, I feel the same way. Because sometimes I like try to pawn it off to my roommates. So, so do you, st you still live with roommates then? I still live with roommates. Are you looking forward to having a place of your own? Um, I probably- I'm sorry, is that judgment? Because if they're like in an expensive city, why wouldn't you have roommates? I will stick with having roommates. You I, like roommates. I go a little crazy if I'm alone. But... Uh-oh, I want to know why. I don't want to live with anybody. I don't like roommates. Hmm. Okay. How rich is this girl? Because, like, roommate, don't they film these, like, in Seattle or L.A.? Don't they move around? I think the button moves around. But uh, I don't want to live with anyone. Well, she, you don't. She has roommates. Is that supposed to say something? Because, like, I feel like in this economy, having a roommate is just kind of economically sound. I feel like such a bitch. Like, truly. Hi, I'm Reno. Hi, Reno. Fun fact about Reno. They like to step on their partners. Oh yeah, that's fun. You seem like also a kinky person. Okay. Is that a correct read? <laughs> I am. That is a big part of my life, but like I'm also interested in other things. What are you passionate about? I've kind of always wanted to be like a smoky. This person is wearing like the biggest collar in the whole world. I like how normal like BDSM is now. It's just like all out there and that's interesting. Hmm. Jazz lounge singer. <laughs> Ooh. Can we hear you sing a little? Gloomy is Sunday with shadows are spending all. My heart and I have decided to end it all. Do we like it or do we hate it? She has a beautiful voice. That's not the problem. That kind of singing. So it is a type of singing. It's like an era as well, like an era of time. But the breathy singing stuff, like, I can't listen to it for very long unless it's maybe from that original era, but even then. What do we think about it? Love her voice, but um, let's see. The car says, what? But it's not a reason to push the button. She does not have to live with them. I know, like, weird reason. Now, I understand if you're at a certain age and you're like, hey, I don't want to live with somebody that still needs roommates. But then if you're a teacher in L.A., you could need roommates on a teacher salary and it would make sense to have one but it depends do you have like child roommates where you guys are like throwing pizza at the wall been there or do you have like mature adult roommates where it's like yeah you know we're just reasonable with the reason why we're you know what i mean <sighs> mm. cj says i don't mind it for financial reasons but not for the fear of living alone mm. Interesting. Actually, I think I like it more because of the fear of living alone. Like, they know themselves well enough. She knows she has her limitations. Human beings need human contact. If you're not a social butterfly and you just like to live with somebody versus alone, I think that kind of makes sense to me. Because living alone takes a very specific person. I like living alone. Um, I do love living with my partner, I will say that, but I, I do like living alone and I like being independent, so I like having my own place for sure, but I know some people, uh, in my life, they just really like having someone there, so I don't mind that so much, though I guess you could argue that this connects to the loneliness pandemic where, um, our epidemic, pa epidemic, but this loneliness issue where maybe... If you don't want to live alone, you're not having the right relationship with your loneliness. I think that could be possible. But I think you could be healthy and have a roommate. You know what I mean? But maybe there's something there. Dang. Ooh. That was pretty fucking good. Reno, are you attracted to Sid? 
Mm, good question. Button, I don't know. Attraction's okay. hard. It's okay. I want to be your friend. Okay. Really bad. <laughs> You're so fucking Hit the cool. button. Okay. Come on out. Come here, come here. This is literally the worst. <laughs> Yeah. Nice to meet you as well. Do you smoke weed a lot? No. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. I would. Like, I'll do edibles. I miss it. Oh. <laughs> I hope you find who you're looking for. You too. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? So good. Do you like EDM? This is so important to me. I'm EDM? Sorry. Like yeah. music? Yeah. I think it's fun to dance to. Okay. Yeah. I hate it. Okay. <laughs> I hate okay. it so much. I mean, it's yeah. not my favorite type of music, but I can dance to it. You're not one of those people that only listens to EDM? No. <laughs> Oh my god, does this person not look like a, a 90s? Like, is this so 90s? Am I crazy? Like, look at this hair. This looks like out of Hocus Pocus, like one of the the, the characters in the background of Hocus Pocus. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I dare you to hold hands, look at each other, don't say a word for 20 seconds. As someone who's autistic, eye contact is hard for me, but... Okay. If you need to look away... No, okay. no, I'm, I'm open to trying hard things. Cool, so. okay. Oh, you have nice hands. Clock is starting. Oh, I can't talk. How'd that feel? Good. Very vulnerable, but nice. Very vulnerable. <laughs> I know. I am. Raiders cats wait said wait did someone press the button because someone the person didn't smoke weed um yes but also there probably wasn't a connection there they said they took edibles but it's not the same vibe for sure these people have more of a vibe than the last people not a person with autism but like I have dated a lot of people with are autism, we sure so it's really comforting to hear that are you yeah. sure about that girl why shouldn't someone date you two uh I'm too honest it's really hard when like I'm too honest. Autism? I'm just kidding. <laughs> when people say they're too honest, I'm like, you mean you're blunt? Like you have no filter? Are you autistic? Or no, do they, what does that mean? Like I'm too honest. I wouldn't say that about myself. I wouldn't say like, oh, I'm hard to date because I'm too honest. I would say I'm hard to date because, oh, this is a good challenge. Why am I hard to date? Um... I feel like asking my partner, hey, what am I, why am I hard to date? Um, I'm hard to date because I'm, I want to say highly critical. Like, I would say like I'm, yeah, I'm probably hard to date because I'm highly critical when I think there's something to criticize, but I'm pretty chill when I don't think there's anything to say. So the problem is like I'm, ooh, Raiders Cat says too straightforward. Too honest does sound like a blunt, yeah. I don't know. There's something about the way that, because again, you could say that I'm blunt, but then my partner said I'm not as blunt as like other people he knows. So I think I'm probably difficult to date because I'm, I guess I'm pretty critical, but at the same time, like, it doesn't seem to bother him because I think he's pretty critical. And we also, gosh, like, we really are in sync so much that it's, it doesn't bother us. I think when you're in a relationship with somebody that's not in sync with you, it can feel really attacky, like you're being attacked. But when you're with somebody who's just as critical and interested in fixing a problem, it can sound just like you're problem solving to a degree that's uncomfortable. I would argue I am hard to date because I want to problem solve to a degree that is technically uncomfortable for most people. Yeah. Even some of my callers I get, sometimes like in the past or, you know, over the years, some of them will definitely admit that they're not calling to be criticized. They're just calling to be heard. And my instinct to want to problem solve their problems is like, yeah, but like because you're self-sabotaging, hello, ma'am. But it's one of those things where my brain's always looking for solutions. So I do tend to be pretty like, that doesn't feel efficient. We're not doing it that way, which is a form of criticism. Or like, nope, like, mm -mm, no. We, like, I'm very like, ah, 
we're doing it a different way. I don't like this way. This way is not efficient. Like the way I want to do it. You know what I mean? Because I have such, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Somebody's like, do you like these shoes? And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> judgy, judgy could be the right word. I am pretty judgy. She just said the most autistic thing ever. Do you like these shoes? No. The autism. I think that You're somebody autistic. <laughs> looking to date me should be aware of like my past and like yeah. what I've gone through. I mean, I have been in recovery for like multiple reasons Ooh. and I'm, I'm doing really well now. Ooh. I was dealing with a pretty severe eating disorder mm. um, that I was in recovery for about six months. And there are some mm. other issues too that I've been dealing with just drugs and not being yeah. nice to myself and I don't know it can be a lot click the button to handle. it is a lot to handle thank you for being honest about that I I mean congratulations first of all I was never diagnosed with an eating disorder but definitely have experienced some disordered mm -hmm. eating so that's not something that is like scary to me okay yeah that's really good to hear describe the energy you both are feeling right now I mean I'm kind of nervous but mm. I feel like I'm able to be open with you yeah. and that you won't mm -hmm. be too freaked out by anything. They both have like similar like vibes, like like vibes, you know, they have like very similar like chill, like, you know what I mean? Like they have. No, I'm about to say, what about you? <clears throat> I'm shaky. Yeah, I'm me shaky too, me too. Fuck, yeah. literally. <laughs> Do you see this? Yeah. So I'm going to light up one more time. If you don't press me, I'm going to consider it a match. Mm. There she goes. <laughs> Turn off, bitch. Well, Dana. Woo! Yay! <laughs> you have won the buddy. Okay, that was cute. Okay, that was cute. In my head, in real life, while I'm dead, my belly's being fed, and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life is a fool 